Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today I am going to read Reading Explorer Level 3 Unit 5A Land of Fire and Ice Never mind its chilly name as a travel destination Iceland is hot Paragraph A with the Atlantic Ocean to its south and the Greenland Sea to its north, Iceland is Europe's westernmost country with the world's most northerly capital city, Reykjavik. Over a thousand years ago, Viking explorers migrated from Northern Europe to Iceland where they eventually established the world's the first parliament. The country's national language can still be traced to the one spoken by the Vikings. Today, Iceland has a population of about 340,000, spread over more than 100,000 square kilometers. Despite its small size, there are many reasons to visit this remarkable country. City of Culture. Paragraph B. Most visitors' first port, port of call is Reykjavik, a small and clean city known for its colorful and stylish architecture. The city's downtown area is lined with shops, art galleries, cafes, and bookstores. In 2000, Reykjavik was awarded the title of Europe's city of culture, thanks to its art and museum scenes and lively nightlife. Paragraph C. The good news for visitors is that Reykjavik's temperatures are fairly mild. Even in the winter, daytime temperatures are usually above freezing. During winter months, nights are long and the northern lights become visible lighting up the night sky with a spectacular natural display. In summer, the country gets almost 22 hours of daylight. During this time, native Icelanders and visitors alike enjoying partying outdoors until dawn. Hot springs. Paragraph D. Iceland is one of the most volcanically active nations in the world with a number of thermal springs around the island. All are heated naturally by underground volcanic activity. In fact, Iceland converts energy generated by these springs into electricity, which powers and heats people's homes and businesses. As a result, Iceland burns very little fossil fuel such as oil and gas. Iceland has some of the cleanest air in the world. Paragraph E. One of Iceland's most popular hot springs is the Blue Lagoon, a huge lake of bright blue sea water just outside Reykjavik. Surrounded by volcanoes and lava fields, the Blue Lagoon receives more than 1.3 million visitors a year. After a long day of sightseeing or a long night of partying, visitors can relax their muscles and release the tension in the lagoon's steaming hot water, which has an average temperature above of about 38 degrees Celsius. Some believe the waters are able to cure certain illnesses and improve skin quality. Cave, caves and Monsters A hiker in Iceland explores an ice cave inside a glacier. F, most, many, most of the inner part of Iceland is uninhabited and relatively inac inaccessible. Nevertheless, there is a range of outdoor activities to enjoy elsewhere in the country. This is particularly true along the coast. Iceland is an adventure said a sole squire whose Icelandic company organizes adventure trips. We have Europe's biggest glaciers, active volcanoes, 
cave explorations and skiing. Paragraph G, one of Iceland's most popular attractions is caving, exploring Iceland's unusual lava caves, most of which formed more than 10,000 years ago, requires only basic caving knowledge and equipment. Ice caves are more challenging, however, and require special clothes and hiking tools. The best known ice caves are in the Vatna, Vatna Jokskol, a layer of ice which at 8,000 square kilometers is Iceland's and Europe's largest glacier. It also happens to be situated just above an active volcano. H, if exploring caves and glaciers doesn't interest you, head south, just outside the town of Vik. Check out the huge rock formations that were once believed to be monsters turned into stone. These are, these are a dramatic part of the scenery and one of the Iceland's most magnificent black sand beaches, the Golden Circle. Paragraph I, and finally, no trip to Iceland would be complete without a visit to the Golden Circle, a pathway northeast of Reykjavik that connects uh, the Girl Fath, a huge golden waterfall, the hot springs region of Geysir, and the Dingvellir National Park. The mid-Atlantic fault that runs through Iceland is uh, literally pulling the island apart. Nowhere is this more evident than in the the Ding, the Valir Valley, where the land is actually separating and the sturdy ground beneath. Your feet are frequent, uh, frequently shift. Hold on while you hike. The end.